screwing into the doer and it's pressing on this over and you can see it. Okay. So I've got the, uh, okay. That's pretty great. I'm pretty excited. Okay. That's good. So we can make that Okay. So what we need to do now is I need to uh, start pumping on the doer. So you can close the uh, valves on the nitrogen uh, tank. Regulator. Oh, on this one. But I guess we need to wait anyway for some time. Yeah. Oh, sir, how far? You want to bring it over here because you want to fill up the nitrogen uh, tracks. Uh, how far do you want it? Uh, so it's you know that's that's fine. It's not. Uh, So we will stop 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 punking the um, uh, the main the main bath. Main bath, yeah. Right. And uh, I had the leaker running over there, so they didn't want to back the main bath. If you land, I can reach that. Usually, it's, it's a little long to pump out the main bath. Right? Yeah. What, what yeah. the pressure? It'll, it'll take a little bit. Especially, I think if we use helium to press it out, it it uh, comes a little faster. Really? Yeah. But, uh, yeah we'll see. One or two for starting. So the temperature is uh, 113 and increasing right now. Yeah, that means... Uh, what does that mean? Usually, usually when it goes up too fast, I think there's, too, there's still too much exchange gas. Although there's too little exchange gas, which means... Uh, too little, there's, there's no... Ex too little exchange gas, so... It, there's always a heat transfer from the top to the bottom. And uh, with, without exchange gas, it will start warming up. So, if you think that's more than the heat transfer from uh, the surrounding area. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I, I understand the, the reasons why it's going up, but it usually goes up slower, I, in my experience. I don't know about your experience. Yeah, I guess it depends on how, how, how good the vacuum is right now. I don't know. Maybe it's because... Uh, it's being pumped on right now. It's pretty low, so... Yeah, maybe that's a, that's the reason. So we're trying to fill the liquid nitrogen chest. So normally we use uh, uh, the check number one. <laughs> 
Because number so, one connected, there's a there's a variable adjustable valve there. Uh, so we can control the, the flow rate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number two, there's just a, a, like a shut shut off valve. But Paul, right now the 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 the, the manual valve is open. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because there's a there's a leak for this uh, one of this valve connected to the connecting trap one. So we added a manual valve there. Oh, it's uh, a back pan. Yeah. Okay. This one, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Actually, on the back panel, you can see there's some small uh, like characters. The, right, like a uh, nitrogen trap or trap one, trap return, something like yeah. that. So Eric, your samples are all alive, right? Yes, they are, except this one isn't. Oh, so yeah, you can't yeah. use that lead. Mm -hmm. Both. But you still have many of them. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, across, yeah, everything's alive except for that one, one lead. Mm -hmm. Which they hope it is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything should change once it's being cooled down, right? It should be more stable that way. Should be. Uh, yeah, when it's cooled down, you, when you start measuring, you, you, you we need to close the door, right? For that uh, new metal yeah. box. Then it will be Too much well. more stable. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. To avoid the uh, so, noise. Yeah, avoid any noise. Uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. Well, we might get light. Right, right, right. Yeah, you can do it right now. If you want. Yeah, because we we need that to do the IV measurement. Like, uh, yeah, this is a it's it's it, it, it's a current source. It has some amplifier inside, but it's built like a, a current source box, so you can you can combine DC current and the AC current from the blocking. Yeah. Lock-in is a current source too, though. Yeah, lock-in is an AC current source. Oh, so but uh, source. we will need another DC current source to, to measure this uh, uh, buyer's dependence. Okay. 